Welcome, welcome everybody. Good to see you all here tonight. Uh, we just uh, hit the door and let uh, everybody in. So uh, for those of you that are here for the very first time, welcome along. Those that uh, have come back, glad to see you all again. Uh, so this is the Business Owners Smashing It Online uh, Meetup. Uh, my name is uh, Nick Cree and uh, tonight uh, we have a bit of a treat in store uh, because it's one of my favourite topics and it's uh, how to do uh, less work uh, and uh, play more uh, by automating your life. <laughs> so uh, I, um, uh, I was having, actually I was having a bit of a play with uh, Zapier today which is one of the tools we're going to talk about and uh, some of the stuff that it does in there is absolutely mind-blowing. So uh, we've got Australia's, uh, Australia and New Zealand's uh, preeminent expert on uh, Zapier tonight. Uh, he writes the uh, uh, tutorials for it. Um, in fact, I think Zapier loves them because uh, he teaches people what they need to know so they don't have to worry about doing their documentation. So um, <laughs> so welcome along, uh, Jimmy. He's uh, joined us. He's just putting on his headset at the moment. I'll give you time to uh, get yourself organised. And while we're doing that, Let's, uh, let's spend some time here uh, introducing yourself and uh, maybe just introduce your name, give us your business, where you're from, and uh, maybe just tell us what you're hoping to get from tonight. Just one thing. So who wants to uh, kick us off tonight? Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's, always, it's always hard being the first, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it, eh? <laughs> I'm glad it's you. <laughs> Uh, hi everybody, my name is Stephen Sandor. Um, my business is Inspiring Business. I'm a management consultant and coach um, based on the Tweed Heads um, just over the border. Uh, my passport is coming through, I'm sure, anytime soon. Um, so I'll be able to get over there. And what I have to get out of today, uh, just looking for uh, slick ideas on how to um, smooth out some of the processes that I've got in my um, in my system. Excellent. Well, welcome along again. I hear that your uh, passport's in the mail. It may get you next year. There's just been a shortage on deliveries. <laughs> All right. Who else we got here tonight? All right. How are you, Donna? How are you going? I'm good. I'm good. Hi, everybody. I'm Donna Arnold. Um, I'm on the Gold Coast. And basically, I've decided to go online with my 20 years experience in admin and management. So if you're looking for an online business manager and it's all too hard doing all that horrible, tedious paperwork, give me a call. I'll look Excellent. after it. Fantastic. What am I going to get out of this? Um, I just want to learn one thing. That'd be good. That's One, all thing. Just one Excellent. thing. Yeah. Uh, well, I can guarantee you there will be at least one thing. So uh, you won't be disappointed. All right. All right, Jane's got um, poor internet, so uh, that must be the NBN, is it? Excellent. Good to have you here anyway. <laughs> All right, who else have we got here tonight? Oh, wait, sorry. I just realized I could unmute myself. I figured you had to do it for me. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> I'll let you do it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. This, this is James, by the way, uh, hey. who, who's going to be uh, presenting with us tonight. So um, we'll give him a bit of an intro later on. Unless, of course, you want to intro yourself now. Yeah, I'll hold out. All right. All right. Who else have we got in here tonight? Who else would like to sort of put up your sand and say hello? I'm Victoria from New Zealand. I finally got on the Zoom. Kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Welcome. <laughs> kia ora. So you're you're in Wellington, New Zealand, is it? Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good to good to have you here tonight. Thank you. All right, who else have we got? So a couple of others. Lucky last to say good day, and then we'll get underway. We got one in the comments. Jean oh, said she uh, owns Miss Red's art room. Oh, she does too. Yeah, pretty nice. pretty good too. Apparently. Nice. What are you looking to get out of this? I'm always interested, like, it may as well do this now because I normally ask in the presentation and if it's a live one. Um, so, you know, if you've got questions or specific things you'd like to know, hit me up now and maybe I can try and adjust, address them. Um, I, I took a look after looking at the intro this afternoon, I took a look at Zapier, but I felt quite, I feel quite overwhelmed with these. 
it's like really hard to know how to get started. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a slide where I say exactly that, that getting started is the hardest part for most people. Uh, yeah. It's because there is literally just so many possibilities. Like uh, if you look at how many apps, something like Zapier integrates with and how many possibilities there are, we're literally talking in the billions, <laughs> you know, different combinations. Right. So um, yeah, no, nah, there's some pretty simple sort of starting points uh, that we can talk about. All right. So a few more have sort of uh, entered the room there, see some familiar faces. John Huckstep, how are you? What are you? Uh, we've got Leora, Polo, Stevie. So uh, anyone wants to uh, unmute, say hello, and then we'll get underway. We've got a couple of minutes before we get underway. If not, I'm just going to kick into it. Oh, hello, Debbie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. See, these weeks are going very fast. Didn't I just see last, last like yesterday? <laughs> it, it feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. They're really good. So thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Yes. My name is Debbie Small, and I'm the founder of a business called Empowerment Point. And Empowerment Point was built to help businesses know the foundations that they need and have solid foundations so they can grow without falling apart later on. So I do strategy sessions with people. We've got a 12 month program coming up in September for businesses, which is just amazing because it actually, uh, I brought over 36 uh, um, experts on board to help people with, uh, with topics that are updated by the experts. So you get the most updated information possible to help your business go. So yeah, if anyone wants to have a chat about uh, about that, please feel free to get in touch. Awesome, and uh, that's just reminded me as well that uh, feel free to put your details in chat and uh, how to contact you. So uh, this is a uh, networking night as well, so feel free to share. Uh, a couple of others in chat here as well too. Um, oh, this is uh, what Jane hopes to get out of tonight. I got into a great habit of scheduling all my Pinterest posts, but would love to learn some more tips. So uh, definitely some stuff you can do with that uh, with Zapier. Uh, and we've got uh, Braden here. Sorry, it doesn't have a mic, but uh, hey, welcome anyway. Uh, you're with uh, CBN Designs in Brisbane. Excellent. And here to take notes and see if there's anything that can be improved upon for us. Well, you're in for a treat, I think, uh, because there's some uh, great stuff coming in tonight. Uh, Jane loves my background. Excellent. This is my uh, new office uh, just for tonight. <laughs> it's a great thing about Zoom. All right. Well, let's uh, let's kick off and um, we'll uh, bring up the uh, the agenda for tonight. All right. Hopefully I get this right and you can actually see my slides. Just give me a thumbs up to let me know you can see the slide. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. So as I said, this is the Business Owners Smashing It Online uh, Meetup. It is for business owners, uh, aspiring business owners, and people who are working in business. Uh, the idea of it is, is to um, help with the online uh, aspects of business. So that's things like uh, apps, tools, tips, uh, strategy, uh, everything to do with your online uh, life. So uh, you don't actually have to have an online business. Uh, you just need a, uh, to be working in a business. Uh, and uh, this is just helping with some of the uh, tools and the online side of things. So, um, so welcome along tonight. The agenda for tonight is we'll have some uh, cool online tools. Uh, so I've been out there researching some of the uh, recent uh, and innovative tools. In fact, I've got some fun ones tonight as well, which I'm looking forward to. We have our main presentation with uh, Jimmy Rose on, um, uh, on automation and um, Zapier. And um, then we've got uh, time for some questions. Got a prize draw tonight. In fact, we've got a pretty good uh, prize for tonight as well. Um, so uh, as ever, in order to be... Uh, in the draw to win the prize, you actually have to be here. So uh, if we draw your name out and you've left early, we redraw and uh, it goes to uh, the next person who's here tonight. Uh, then we'll announce the next event and then we'll close around about uh, 7.30 tonight. So uh, before we do, um, as ever, please uh, check into Facebook, so on your phones or whatever device you've got. Uh, just uh, uh, go and uh, tap in the uh, what's on your mind area uh, you'll get a screen up from the bottom. So just go and click uh, check in uh, and look for business owners smashing it online or click uh, search for business owners smashing it online. 
And uh, look, feel free to tag me or anyone else in here and uh, leave a comment. Uh, and uh, remember, this is all part of building your uh, professional digital profile on your uh, personal wall. So, uh, and it just lets people know that uh, you're involved in your own uh, professional development and attending uh, professional networking events, uh, as well as uh, enjoying yourself at uh, other places as well too. All right, so let's uh, let's crack along with uh, some of the cool online tools tonight. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll stop the share and I'll share my uh, other screen, and uh, I've got a browser open with the uh, all the various tools in it. So let me just bring that across here. Okay. And I'm hoping we've got this right. That looks about right. No, I think it's this one here. All right. Let's share that screen. Now hopefully everybody can see my browser and see that. Okay. All right. Okay. So the uh, the first one is uh, I've. Uh, we're, we're, can you believe it? We're uh, over halfway through the year. It's now August. Uh, we're on the downhill slope to Christmas. So um, the uh, and, and so for me the uh, second half of the year was uh, I'm just into my next. Uh, 90 day sprint. I plan my year out in uh, 90 day cycles. Uh, so over a three month period, I've got some uh, some goals and some objectives to uh, to achieve. And that's the, uh, you know, have, a, have around about three projects that we might be looking at one major project and some minor projects uh, to look at. So um, uh, w one of the ways that I do do a 90 day plan is to is to plan backwards. So think about what are my uh, uh, end objectives set a date for them to be achieved and then uh, step it back to today to uh, fill in uh, you know all, all the things that need to happen or all the major chunks that need to happen each week uh, to, in order to get me to achieve that goal. All well and good to set goals and objectives uh, but without uh, any concrete steps to get there then uh, they uh, often just get missed. So uh, I like to actually hit my goals and achieve it rather than uh, so you know just working on a uh, strategy of hope and hoping that I uh, get there. So one of the tools that I was looking for is uh, I often use Google Calendar. Well, I do block out Google Calendar for all the major chunks, but sometimes it's just easier to have a paper diary to you know write down and, and to uh, highlight uh, in the uh, planning process before uh, putting it into uh, the uh, G Suite uh, calendar. So um, I came across this uh, website here called calendarlabs.com. And in here, they have a heap of templates for calendars. So uh, even things like photo calendars. So for those of you that are planning for Christmas presents, you can come here and upload your photos and create calendars for Christmas presents. Um, so um, oop, let me go back to that. So here's, here's an example here. This one here is just a uh, monthly calendar for um, uh, for September, but they've got uh, yearly calendars as well. What do we want? Uh, I did have that there. Uh, 2020. Let's try and find it. Monthly calendar. Okay, 2020 templates. There we go. Monthly calendar. So, uh, so these ones here, you can um, you can download them and uh, and print them out, and then uh, it's a uh, they're good calendars for to uh, to be able to do some uh, planning. A uh, bit of a trick to it though, when you do go and download it, they do want you to uh, go and uh, uh, sort of tweet it or Facebook or, or send it out to uh, Google Plus. I don't think that's even a thing these days, is it? So so the website's obviously a little bit old. Um, but look, uh, if you just uh, close it, uh, I think they give you three minutes before you can download it. So I, um, I walked away, grabbed a cup of coffee, came back, was ready for download, and uh, that was my um, weekend planning. So there's a, there's a heap of different calendars. You've got holidays in there as well too. Um, they have uh, fiscal calendars. You can get them in uh, Word, Excel, PDF version. Uh, so so pretty much everything that uh, or every format that you need uh, is in there. So um, if you're into planning your next 90 days or uh, and onwards, this is a great place to get some of those uh, downloadable uh, calendars. So that was uh, calendarlabs.com. Um, the next one, I might uh, I might save that next one till last. This uh, next one is not so much an app, but this is a uh, uh, a way of 
of being and it's say and, and I've seen this in a few places and it was stop saying sorry and say thank you instead so rather than saying something like uh, look sorry I'm sorry I'm late uh, you might say hey thanks for uh, waiting uh, or thanks for waiting for me so it's just really a sort of a change of mindset and I mean have you ever noticed that there are some people out there who are constantly apologizing for what they're doing you know so sorry I'm late sorry sorry uh, I didn't get back to you in time sorry that uh, um, uh, uh, what is it sorry, sorry I'm not making a lot of sense so um, so what the what the apology does is it uh, puts you in a position of uh, being in the back foot and uh, and not being uh, in uh, in control of yourself by uh, by using the words thank you you're actually ac still acknowledging the fact that uh, uh, maybe you you have um, you've mucked up or or something's happened uh, but you're putting the emphasis on them and uh, thanking the uh, that the, uh, person there for um, you know for their understanding for uh, for waiting for whatever so um, and it's actually quite a hard thing to do like I've noticed ever since I've come across it sometimes I'd send an email off and I'd say hey look sorry I didn't get back to you earlier uh, but you know here, here's where we're up to now so um, and it's actually quite a hard thing to say uh, to change around to thank you to say hey thanks for uh, bearing with us over there over the past couple of days uh, I've got the answer you're looking for so um, it has got a different emphasis to it hasn't it so I, I would um, really uh, encourage you to um, think about uh, rather than using sorry uh, think about using thank you and the times that you use sorry are when you uh, genuinely are sorry and uh, and it's really appropriate so uh, that one there is from a website called boardpanda.com uh, stop saying sorry thank you comic yow yow uh, we'll put the link in the uh, in the chat there so that uh, you don't have to remember it oh by the way uh, all of these links we will put into chat uh, so if you open chat which is down the bottom of your toolbar on zoom there's a little chat icon just click on it to open it up when you've got it open you'll see three little dots down the bottom right if you click on those three little dots uh, the top option there will be to save chat so once we've been through all these you can go and save it to your computer and then you can click on the links and go back to the uh, uh, sites that we're talking about today all right next one is fonts so uh, Google Google fonts has a massive uh, repository of free fonts that you can use for uh, your website for your marketing uh, for uh, your uh, social media posts uh, and um, uh, you know and you can pretty much use them for uh, anything the, uh, the only problem is is that uh, um, it's great for websites and that you can just call the uh, fonts in by the uh, Google API uh, but how do you get it on your computer so uh, and uh, and you do need to get them on your computer if you're mocking up stuff on your computer or to uh, be able to get them into places like Canva so there's a great little app out there called sky fonts from monotype.com and uh, if you go to monotype.com there's a little download button you can download something called sky fonts uh, and on a Mac it sits up in the uh, in the top toolbar not quite sure where it sits on PC it works on both and uh, once you've downloaded it you can then connect it to the uh, Google uh, fonts repository and you can bring any font that's in uh, in the Google fonts there onto your computer so you can uh, use it locally uh, and uh, there, there are a number of other font repositories as well uh, they've got uh, my fonts as well which is a big font repository as well you can connect it through to there uh, there's a um, uh, another I think there's another one uh, oh no I think um, mosaic is the company name but my fonts and and Google fonts they're the two big ones that you connect uh, can connect with sky fonts so um, and and you may even I think uh, my fonts also has things like image fonts uh, as well too which allows you to bring fonts in that are actually images so all of those are good for your social media posts or um, uh, or, or just for doing uh, you know bits and pieces uh, online when you need to have different fonts than what uh, come on your operating system on your Mac or your PC next one is uh, AI since we're talking about automation uh, today uh, I came across uh, this website well vwo.com it's a uh, website's been around for a long time but uh, they are just uh, 
working with uh, AI at the moment and they believe that uh, they can uh, optimize your web pages uh, with AI better than you can yourself. So, um, and, uh, and even uh, places like Google Ads, Google Ads have got a, uh, an AI uh, component and so you can go to Google Ads and uh, set it just for their machine to create your ads for you and uh, and they can run so you don't actually need to write the creatives or write the ads now about for well, probably about two or three years ago uh, it was uh, not that great so they were, they were still learning but uh, over the past three years now the AI or the machine learning in Google Ads is getting better than uh, some of the bigger agencies uh, are able to uh, put ads together they're getting better results than humans are when they put the ads together so um, Visual Website Optimizer, VWO, they've got a challenge at the moment uh, if you're uh, that way inclined is uh, you can, um, can join the challenge, uh, you can install the Visual uh, Website Optimizer code onto your website and uh, with it uh, you can do some split testing. So what this, uh, what this tool does, if you've got a headline on your website uh, and, and um, what, what you can do with the Visual Website Optimizer is you can change the headline without actually changing a headline. So you go into the back end of this once you've got the script on your website, choose a different headline and it will automatically swap it out. So it will present one headline to half of the visitors and the original headline on your website to the other half of the uh, visitors. So, um, so what uh, Visual Website Optimizer is doing is it's saying let's just take your headline and our machine will actually create other headlines and we'll test that. And, uh, and so they reckon that uh, their headlines are going to outperform your headlines. So if you want to see how good they are, uh, then uh, go to this website and uh, go and check out the uh, challenge that they've got there. Uh, and um, you know, if you feel so inclined, you can go and join us. It, it is a bit of a, um, I suppose, it is a bit of a challenge to uh, to use it if you're not particularly techy. But you know, if you've got a website, uh, so a web uh, person who can put the code in, uh, then once you log in, it's pretty easy to get in there and uh, use it. So that's really uh, the reason why I bring that up is that's sort of the future of um, uh, you know what we're doing with uh, websites, with marketing and advertising. This machine learning stuff has got so good that uh, it's you know beating humans out there. So interesting to see where it goes in the next uh, two or three years or so. All right, so we've got the link for that there in the chat as well. All right, and the. the uh, the last one I want to bring you is this. Is, this is a, just a bit of a fun one. <laughs> I came across uh, this the other day, and again, this is AI as well. So we're talking about uh, automation. This one's AI as well. So uh, this is a um, uh, what would you call it? It's an app here uh, called uh, QuickDraw dot with Google dot com, and uh, its AI will recognise what you're drawing on screen. So let me just. Uh, uh, run through and give you a uh, an example of it. And look, a, a warning here. This is really addictive. So uh, if you get into it, uh, it's really hard to get out of it. So let's try. It. So it tells you to um, what to draw. So uh, and you, you've got 20 seconds to go and draw some French fries. So let's see how this works. I see leg or square or passport or tooth or elbow. I see hockey stick or toe or cup. I see coffee cup, or mug, or soda can, or dishwasher. I see paint can, or house plant, or lantern, or flashlight. I see trash can. Sorry, I couldn't get it. Okay, I didn't get that one, but let's try this one here. I see garden hose, or canoe. Oh, I know, it's fish. So I guessed it was a fish. I see ocean. I see river. I see beach. I'm stumped. <laughs> I'm stumped. Okay, I can't. Oh, I, I know it's water. I got it. It's water. Okay, hockey pack. This is obviously American, isn't it, or Canadian? I see shoe or pond or flying saucer or bread. Oh, I know it's hockey puck. I see triangle or mouse. You're right, Nick. It's addictive. Or mustache. <laughs> I see shoe or sweater or computer what? or animal migration. I see camouflage 
or anvil, or car, or flower, or ceiling fan. I see kangaroo, or dog, or short monster, or frog. I see bear, or teddy bear. Sorry, I couldn't get it. Okay, we've got one more to go. It's really hard to draw with just a mouse or a trackpad. I see line. I see leg or golf club. Oh, I know. It's door. All right, so uh, so that was it. So that AI there is uh, just ask you to uh, draw things and it uh, guesses it. It really is really addictive. <laughs> I spent half an hour the other day on this thing just trying to sort of, uh, to draw these things. So, uh, but what it has done for me is it's uh, got me to think I need to get an iPad with a pen so I can actually draw properly. But go and check that out. It's, uh, it's actually pretty cool uh, that you've got AI that can actually guess these things here. And, uh, and obviously uh, you've got a heap of people using it so it's starting to pick out some of the uh, common shapes. So, uh, so that's sort of not really an app. That's a bit of a fun thing there to uh, to go away and uh, spend a time, uh, spend a bit of time uh, having a look at. All right. Well, let's get us back to where we were. That's uh, that's the apps for Dan. Anything there that uh, that you like, that's useful, that uh, is uh, interesting, uh, that's uh, actually going to be helpful in your uh, lives over the next uh, couple of weeks. The VWO thing looks awesome. I actually use, well, I used to use VWO. We don't have it active right now. I still have a plan, but I did not know they had um, the suggested headlines feature and I'm 100% going to dig into that. And I'm also going to dig into Draw with Google, although I was kind of calling B BS on a couple of those, like Hockey Puck and Door. It got those way too early. That was, uh, there was some sneaky things going on there. Oh, <laughs> you didn't even have a handle yet. It was just a rectangle. Come on, mate. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, it didn't get my blueberries. They were not round at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that uh, visual website optimizer, uh, I only came across that a couple of days ago and, and definitely going to check it out because, uh, you know, if you're marketing, that uh, is potentially going to be something that's going to make some money for you and your uh, websites. Anyway, now it's got one there that, uh, that uh, they happen to like. I really like the board panda. Oh, the yeah, board panda? That, yeah, that looked like it could be promising for my work. Very good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah for counselling. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep, yep. That was the uh, say thank you, not sorry. Yep. All right. Well, that's the uh, that's the uh, part of the evening over with uh, all the apps and tools and that side of things. Uh, if you do happen to stumble across some apps and tools that you think we should feature. Uh, please do send them through to me. You can always shoot them through on the uh, Facebook uh, page, Business Owners Smashing It Online. In fact, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, uh, go and join the Facebook group because that's where we announce uh, all of the meetups coming up. And uh, we'll put some of these apps uh, up there as well for you. But uh, yeah, feel free to send me a message in Messenger or shoot them through to me because I'm always happy to uh, have a look at some uh, new ones. 